Now we shall establish a connection between our ESP32 and ASP.NET code that we have written so far. We have already completed this part and we already done this part in the previous tutorial. And now it is time to check whether these two are communicating with each other or not. For the communication, if you remember, this one listens on a port 8090 and this is an external device. This is an external device. It runs out of your computer, obviously. So this means that this is a third party story that has to obtain a access to this port on this computer. Otherwise, there will, no, there will be no communication between the two unless I open this port. So for this to work, I will have to go to my Windows firewall settings. At the outside, I will tell you that this could be a bit tricky thing and it could be a bit uh, security problem also. So you do this with me and then you can reverse it after all, after uh, later on. So when you open the firewall and network protection, you see this story. Come to the advanced settings. Come to the advanced settings and it will ask you higher permissions and I can close it because I am in my box. I will just. So this should be visible. Here we have inbound rules that is for anything that is coming outside. So I will click on new rule and a box opens for me. In this box, as you can see, there is a program button port. I'll open this port. I'll click on this port and I will click next. And here I will make sure that TCP is selected and specific local port. I will say specific local port 8090. I'm typing that port and click on next. Here block allow you will have to allow. And later on, you can delete this rule, allow the connection and click on next and keep all the three selected and click on next. And let me give a name to this rule. I will give a name so that I can recognize it and I can put any description I like and I will click on this finish. This rule is now present here and I can scroll left, right to see that it is actually enabled and it works for my uh, port. This is the first thing that you should do. Second thing is right click on your Wi-Fi icon. This is my Wi-Fi network on the lower, lower right side. I connected on my Wi-Fi and click on the properties. In the properties, my network profile is public and it I should mark it private so that it runs on a trusted network. It will run on my own home computer and I will uh, later on change it to public when I need it. But now I will have to keep it private so that that port is available to me. This is what is very important. If you do not change it, things will not work after changing it you can close it. And uh, now I have opened my uh, this application and simultaneously I have now my ESP32 device that I will power up. I will power up. So I have connected it to power supply and this has started blinking but it is this one that has to blink on communication between this device and this Visual Studio project. So this is uh, possible if I uh, run it and if I run it correctly and it should start blinking immediately on a communication. You might have to uh, restart your device in between but let's wait for it to respond. If it doesn't, I will then uh, restart my uh, this uh, ESP32 uh, device. I'm waiting with you. So 
so you can see that it starts blinking this means that there is a communication established between this device and this uh, ASP.NET Core application. I'll close it right now and in the next tutorials uh, we'll uh, talk about the C-Sharp application.